Hello, you're welcome to my channel. Now, here in this video, we're going to solve for the forward difference of sine of x, where a here is a constant and x is just the variable. So, we're going to get started and then I will talk about the forward difference. All we need to do is to go forward, take the number, the function in forward, and subtract the one behind from it. So, we're just going to have the forward difference of sine x to just be sine of a. Then in place of x, we're going to add h to that. We're going to have x plus h, then minus sine of the original function x. Okay, so here we just have this as the forward difference of sine x. So we have x a times x plus h minus a times x. Okay, now I want to introduce to you the product sum formula that when we have sine of an angle A um, minus sine of an angle B, the way the whole of this is a particular angle and this one right here is another angle. So when we have this, it is simply the same thing as this is just minus, so we're going to have um, 2 of cosine of let's say A plus B divided by 2 times the sine of a minus b divided by 2. So this is always the case, right? So we're just going to have for sine a, sine b, we're going to add the two angles and divide it by 2 and subtract and divide it by 2 and multiply like this. So I'm going to apply that right here. So you're going to observe that our a is equal to ax plus h, okay? And our b is equal to x. So you just apply this in here and we do some simplification and we are done. So we have uh, this will now become 2 times cosine of now a alone is x plus h plus a h then plus b that is plus x divided by 2 and again we're going to put sine of now in this other place we have a a here which is just x plus a h and minus b so we're going to subtract this from that so we have minus a x divided by 2 okay so from here we can just have that this will simplify, will simplify to get 2 cosine of this is just 2 x so we're going to have 2 a x uh, plus uh, a h uh, divided by 2 times sine of this and this will get to 0 just going to have sine of ah over 2 well here we can just do some simplifications but this could be a nice place to stop or better still we can just enter with uh, you know, this to cancel this we can have the a outside like this we can have x plus h over 2 uh, h over 2 like that right? where these two and these two will cancel let's do just a and uh, this will be just a h over 2 so we factor out the a like this and just have sign of this is just the same okay so any of this is a nice place to stop so that is the forward difference of sine of x okay over to the forward difference of cosine of x 